Hi, I'm Tony Anscom from AVG Technologies. This is an AVG Academy video. Today I'd like to look at phishing and give you a little explanation of what phishing is and also how to protect yourself against it. Phishing is where somebody sends you something by email and they're trying in some way to take you to a web page. They want to get your ID, your password, your bank account details by duping you into putting it into a web form or in some way sending it back to them so they can use it and use it deceitfully. So let's take a look at an email I got last night. This email looks and feels like it came from PayPal. Now you'll see here in the subject, my email service has actually tagged this as spam, which is already telling me that uh, this email is not good for me. Uh, but your email service might not do that. And of course, spammers and fishers get clever um, and what they do is that they find ways to avoid this spam detection. But let's look at this particular instance. So firstly, it says it's from PayPal. It's saying, dear customer. Now, PayPal know who I am. So that's the first thing to look for. It's actually not addressed to me. Uh, and let's take a look at the other things in here. Uh, the email address here says updates at secure.info. Well, I happen to know that email from PayPal comes from at paypal.com. So there's a second clue here that this email is not correct. Now, if I click on login and update, it opens a, a web page that looks and feels very authentic. And I can understand why somebody might feel the need to actually fill in the details on here. Uh, but you can see the domain is not correct here. Uh, Aryimports.com, not sure who they are, but uh, it's clearly not PayPal. Uh, so I'm gonna put in an email address and password here. I do not recommend anybody do this uh, at home or, or try this because the string of numbers here in the web address will actually tell the spammer, the fisher, that uh, I'm actually clicking within their email. So like I say, don't try this, but let's see what actually happens when we do put something into the web page. So we're gonna put in test at text.com and we're gonna put in any old password, random hitting the keyboard for, for a password and we're gonna log in. Oh, uh, it's securely logging me in, uh, impressive. Uh, because it's not real. So it's designed to make you think it really is doing something. And it's taken me straight to a page where it's after my billing address, scroll down, it's gonna then probably take me for credit card, uh, bank account details, and then, then I, I f allow me to finalize the update. So this is not real. Now, one of the ways you can also see this is not real is it's lacking a digital certificate in the domain. So let's go to the PayPal website and just show you what I mean by a digital certificate. See this big green mark that says PayPal Inc. US? This means that the PayPal domain is using uh, an SSL digital certificate. So if I click on this, I can see the permissions that it's asking for. Uh, if I click on the connection type, I can see who the certificate's registered to. What type of certificate, I can see what type of encryption it's using. So the importance here is that I can actually see who the owner of this website is. And more importantly, I can see www.paypal.com. So there's a number of things here. One, obviously, if you see an email from a financial provider, I would recommend never clicking on anything in the email. I would always log on directly in the website. So I would go to the website by typing in the address, going there in a browser, and actually, if they've got a message for you, it will appear, because all financial institutions uh, have messaging within their online services. So that's tip one. Um, tip two, always look for the trusted digital uh, certificate on a web page that you want to transact with or that you're actually putting in personal information. And tip three is just remain vigilant. Always check the emails, check who it's come from, check whether it looks real. Um, and in fact, in many ways, even if you see an email that you think looks real, don't click, on, you know, don't click on it, just delete it and go directly to the website. This was an AVG Academy video. I hope that's given you some explanation of what phishing is, and we look forward to seeing you next time.